so as we have seen that uh, we have different platforms for generate references but uh, i think i found medley's best one so let's discuss about medley first of all what is medley medley is a reference manager which allows you to manage read share and cite your research papers and an academic collaboration network with over 4 million users to connect like minded researchers and discover research trends and stats next we have it will form a crowd source database with a unique layer of social research information and an open api that does application programming interface now what is medley it is a free academic software it is a cross platform that means it can work on any platform or any os like linux mac and windows and it can work with all major browsers so now uh, medley's three key values that it drive researchers productivity by the reference manager then it enables collaboration and knowledge sharing with the help of research network and groups and third it creates additional insights and build ups with the help of research data and api so you have to follow four steps and uh, by that way you can put citations and generate references automatically so let's see how to use medley for that i have to open a browser and just write medley so here is the first link which you can see so just click on this that download medley reference manager for desktop so you can see that uh, there is a message for cookies just accepted so you can get a link for download now for windows and we have options for mac as well as for linux so from this particular site you can download medley as on my machine i have already downloaded it so let me show you that uh, how to install it so just double click on this particular link click on yes so now see it will ask you to follow some steps just click on next i agree asking for the location click on next and simply create install will take some time to install so now uh, is saying that uh, medley has been installed just finish it and run medley desktop so after the installation process you can see that uh, icon is showing on the desktop with medley desktop So this is the way. This is the window of Mendeley. So now, what you have to do if you are using it first time, that uh, I am already registered on this particular Mendeley desktop. If you are using it first time, then you have to follow a step of registration. So when the, after installation, you will get this link. Just click on this link. then it will ask you to register for that you have to just enter your email your name institution and then register after that you will get this particular window so at the starting you will get this window so now one more thing about mendeley is that that uh, i have a registered user on this particular mendeley so let me show you this process after sign outing so i just sign out so when you use it first time what you have to do you will get this window you have to provide your email address uh, 
on the password. Sign it. So, yes, this window I want to show you that uh, now. So, at the starting point, you will get this window, this particular, that where MS Word plugin is not installed. So, what you have to do, just click on install now so that it will get installed. So, see, uh, after installing this, this particular uh, software of Mendeley can work with MS Word. So, now you are watching or uh, now it will uh, that uh, I have just uh, log in again and uh, if you start uh, from a starting point like uh, from after the registration so you will get these tabs that it is just explaining that this particular tab what does yeah or you can say what the functioning of this particular tab is so next next or just simply click the cross button so now, so you are watching the Mendeley interface where you will get a number of options. So as far as adding citations and generating references list is concerned, you have to make use of important tabs. And this is uh, that uh, you already, I already explained that Mendeley is a user friendly software. So now, this is the first step that uh, you have to install Mendeley and register on the Mendeley desktop. So now once you logged into the software, the second step is to create a folder for files and we will import or we will upload all the files to the particular folder. So for that what you have to do, you have to put all the PDF or the search articles in that particular folder. So, I am going to create a folder with just uh, writing the article, fake news. So, I have created a folder. So, now and uh, for adding files in it, what you have to do? Just uh, click on this link. And these are the papers which I want to include in that uh, particular folder. So, an important thing is you have to give relevance to the written text. For example, I have created a folder that is fake newspapers and the this is the fake newspapers folder uh, in my subdrive. And we have uh, papers or we have PDF files of articles with the name 1, 2, 3, 9. So same way if you are using some reference from any book, then you can write book 1, book 2. And uh, you can say this is a good practice that your name articles, you uh, you can say you name articles like this. So I want to show you an example of uh, an article. So here is an example of an article. So in this article, I have written somewhere I have written 1 and somewhere I have written 2. So this is uh, not the reference number. This is just for my understanding. So now for Medley, I will put citation. So you can do this part simultaneously. Also, means open Medley and insert citation side by side. Like when you click on it, so you will get a link of open Medley in the references tab. And see, in this way, you get Medley open here. But uh, I think it is quite difficult and uh, time consuming to add or to do that. So for this step, what you have to do, uh, while writing for, uh, for example, you, if you have written paper of 15 pages, then uh, I cannot remember after writing the search paper that which paragraph has been taken from which paper. So this, that uh, the folder part which I have created, that this is so this is the best practice that whenever you copy something like uh, if you copy it for paper one and writing in your article then I am just putting one here and this particular text I am referring for paper number two or you can say two dot pdf 
So after this, you will remember all about the article reference that which paragraph is from which article. Okay. So now after this, let's see the third step that is how to add files or how to add articles of PDF in your Medley software. So for that, what you have to do? This particular folder is here. So you have to just click on add, add files. Okay. Just select all these articles which you want here and click on open. So you can see all the papers has been added here. So when you click on a paper, it will show the information related to this paper that it is the name of paper and the file name is .pdf. Again, other papers are there. So, these are different papers and the information related to this paper is showing in this particular tab. So, now let's move to the last step. So, now the last step that is the step number 4 is when you added all the files to Mendeley. So, the last step you have to put the citations and generate references. So for that, I have just opened my article. So for putting citations and add references, what you have to do in the MS Word, you just have to go to references tab. So here you will get all the controls related to the citation and references. So these are the controls. So here first you have to select the reference type. So you can select style from here as uh, I have selected the APA style. So you can select any style from here like according to the journal requirement or your university requirement. So like uh, as I am choosing the APA style, so now this will help. So what you have to do? So the previous article I already told that this one is just for my reference. Now I know that this particular part is from the paper number 1. So for adding the citation here, what you have to do, just click on it, click here and insert citation. From here you will get a link to go to Mendeley. Just click on go to Mendeley. So from here you know that that particular paper name is 1.pdf. So just uh, select the 1.pdf. So here is the that. Just click on it. And after this, you have to click on sign. So now you can see the uh, reference to this particular content, particular text has been added here. Now you can remove this one as well because I use uh, this for my reference or you can say for my understanding purpose. So when you give citation through this citation manager, definitely this will not caught in indexing similarity as well. So this is for the first research paper which I have added here. Okay. So now for this particular article that is this particular content I have taken from the paper number 2. So for that what you have to do just click here, insert citation, go to Mendeley and select the paper number 2. So this is the paper number 2. Just click on cite. So now you will get the reference of this paper according to the APA format and author name and the year. So at last when you complete this with this uh, citation part what you have to do you can generate the list of references for that suppose you got references here so just go click on insert bibliography so now you will get references here. So as uh, I have used only two 
papers here because I have cited two references here. One is this and another one is this. So, I am getting two references here. Okay. So, this is the part. So, if you type this or if you manually type this, so there is possibility that it will show in similarity index. So, in this way, references will be generated. Uh, if I use uh, 8 articles here or if I cite 8 articles here, then references will be get added here by itself. So, another thing that you can change the style of references also that I have used APA style. So, if you change the style to IEEE, so you can see the uh, after selecting the IEEE, it will change the references according to the IEEE format. Simultaneously, the citation part, the citation style has also been changed. Before that, it is coming that author name and the year, but now it is showing that one two, and that it is according to the IEEE format. So, if you not found reference style, like if you got a different reference style, so from here, you can get an option of more styles. So you can select this option. So which you want. So if you some information is missing. But do think about accounting there. This is all about it. Just go to mentally. Suppose here is the article. So you can see this particular article is showing here. My library is here. So details about this article. See, what I want to show here is that if article is there with some missing information, like suppose if this particular article is not having author keywords or tags or suppose the volume number, so you can enter that manually by clicking on a paper. Suppose this is any paper you just select. Suppose I just select this paper and if you want to add some tag, so by just double click on it, you can get you can add entries to this also. Okay. So this is all about Metalis software. Thank you.